the Bermuda Triangle? Have you wondered about why the Bermuda Triangle is a mysterious place? Because more than 2,000 ships and 200 aircrafts have gone missing in that place. Do you know where is Bermuda Triangle located in the world? It is in Atlantic Ocean! It starts from Bermuda Island, Miami, Puerto Rico. It forms a triangle. Let me show you the map. Let's connect this Bermuda Triangle. First, let's start with Ber Bermuda Island. And this is Miami. Let's start from here. Boom. And boom. It's connected. Now it's Puerto Rico. Let's, from Miami, let's go to Puerto Rico. Three, two, one, go. Okay. Now let's again join the Bermuda Island. This is the Bermuda Triangle. Let's go back to our studio. Woo! Fun fact time! My brother wants to tell you a fun fact about Bermuda Triangle! Woo! Hey guys, did you know the deepest part of the Atlantic Ocean is in the middle of the Bermuda Triangle? It's roughly about one and a half Kilimanjaro's or 30,000 feet deep, or 9,000 meters. That's a lot. Now my brother is gonna take over. Bye! We have many mystery things happened in Bermuda Triangle. Let's talk about two interesting incidents. Incident number one. In 1970, a small plane took off with pilot and two crew members. This pilot is one of those survivors who survived the Bermuda Triangle. He went through unusual circumstances and a very exciting experience. Let us know more about his story. He took off from Arellino Islands and started his journey towards Miami. Once he was in the air, he saw a very dark um, black storm before him. He had no other way. It was one kilometer wide, so he, there was no other way. So he headed straight into the storm. When he went there, it was pitch black. There was no light anywhere, and suddenly there were flashes in the sky which illuminates the dark space. But that wasn't lightning. It was kind of an unusual thing. Um, straight 30 minutes he was inside the black hole kind of thing and finally he saw um, a hole in which sunlight came through he was very relieved and started um, going towards that opening but to his surprise the opening started to narrow and close he knew that he shouldn't be in this black hole forever and had to escape so with this full willpower he um, went through and got out of the storm. After that, he called the Miami airspace and reported that he was arriving in Miami in 30 minutes. But the Miami airspace told that he was already above Miami. Then when the fog cleared, he saw that he was above the city Miami. This, um... This should have taken 90 minutes in maximum speed of that airplane. But it only took 47 minutes. He thought only he could feel like that. So he landed safely and saw that the fuel was only half used. In this journey, um, he has 600 hours of, you know, flight hours. So he, have, he has experience. So he knows 
that it should take full fuel to do a journey like that. But only half the fuel was um, used and only half the time was there to go from Arolano Island to Miami. This shocked him and um, he went to many experts and asked why this happened and many theories. Each of them told new things like the dark space and stuff like that, that the black cloud teleported him like four to five kilometers. But we still don't know clearly why this happens. It's very interesting, right? But this one is more interesting. Incident number two. In 1944, um, the U.S. Navy saw a very unusual ship going in the Bermuda Triangle. They know that it was a ship that started from Germany and was due to come to Miami a few months ago, but didn't arrive. Everybody thought that it was lost at sea and sunk, but they saw the ship coming towards them. They thought everybody was in there and went for the rescue. But inside, they searched every nook and corner and no single human soul was there except a cat in the basement, in the, you know, captain's cabin. There was nobody in there. So scientists theorized that the waves and the storm um, makes an infrasonic sound which made the people rush and go off board like mind control. But still, we don't have proper proof for that also. Many scientists have many theories, but they still don't, um, you know, have the proper proof. Conspiracy theorists also tell that it might be aliens or the Atlantis, the underwater city might have done this. But for that also, we don't have proper proof. Did you hear about the two Things? I'm so scared. I like only funny things. Hope you got something about it. See you again.